The city of Denver has really prided itself on the welcome rolled out for migrants, while also being upfront about the cost of that hospitality. Now the city is considering outsourcing the effort to a security company. There are just under 500 migrants still being sheltered by the city and its partners. That's down from more than 1,200 in shelters this time last month. The city has spent close to $20 million on the effort and just got $8.6 million in federal reimbursement. Our Mark Salinger looks at the city's plan to turn over the migrant shelter and medical care to a company better known for armored cars and security guards. Denver has a $40 million challenge. It can't solve itself. This week, City Council will vote on whether to approve a $40 million contract to outsource Denver's entire response to migrants arriving here from the southern border. Everything from medical care to shelters to food would be handled by a third-party company. On Wednesday, Denver City Council will vote on whether to award that contract to Garda World and its subsidiary, Agus Defense Services. Garda World is best known for armored cars and security guards. Agus advertises on its website it has an unrivaled reputation in protecting oil fields in Iraq. Garda World does have experience working with migrants. The city says Garda World has contracted with places like El Paso, San Antonio, and Chicago to help them with migrants. We found they've also contracted with the state of Florida. Contracts show Florida chose Garda World to run a program led by Governor Ron DeSantis, flying migrants out of Florida to other states led by Democrats. Critics call it a political stunt. We are hearing from jurisdictions around the country. Back in April, Denver City Council heard specifics on how much migrants arriving in Colorado are costing the city. The price tag the city's chief financial officer gave council members was between $800 and $1,000 per week per migrant. This is a an issue that takes place thousands of miles from Denver, but has um, impacted the city greatly. From December to June, the estimated cost was between 17 and $20 million. Now Denver's potential new contract will cost the city $40 million through next March. The facilities, the staffing, the services, um, the food, the supplies, uh, everything is, is included in that. The proposal in front of City Council says Garda World was chosen through a, quote, competitive process with staff from throughout the city involved. While Garda World specializes in logistics and security, we don't know exactly what that would look like here in Denver. We reached out to Garda World to see if they have staff like doctors to help migrants or if they would outsource that as well. But Kyle did not hear back today. I mean, it stands to reason if this company and others are bidding on the contract that they think they think there's, city, there's money to be made performing this service for the city, what are the services that they're going to be providing if their background is security, I guess? Yeah, there's always money to be made, right? But the question is also how much does this cost and where are we getting that money? The city is allocating $20 million from other different funds to try and pay for this. They're also using about $10 million of FEMA money. And that's all trying to foot this $40 million price tag. I have a feeling we will be talking about Garda World again. And this just goes to show that the city knows that the migrant crisis is not over. Yeah, for sure. Mark Salinger, thank you.